students my name is neeti said and thanks for watching edupedia word videos my topic for the presentation is plant development in this section of the video we will discuss about the development that takes place in plant and this is the fifth section of the chapter plant growth and development students what does development means Development is a term that includes all the changes that an organism goes through during its life cycle from germination of the seed to senescence. What is senescence students? Cell death. Okay. So, this is all about the development. Let's see what it is in detail. So, it is a process that includes all the changes in the life cycle of an organism from seed germination to senescence. Senescence is cell death. Plant development is the sum of growth and differentiation. What is differentiation students? I have uh, taught you in my previous section of the presentation. Differentiation means the cells which are derived from root apical and shoot apical meristem and cambium, they differentiate and they mature to perform a specific function. This act, it leads to the maturation which we call it as differentiation students. So, what is plant development? Plant development is the sum total of growth and differentiation. This is the diagrammatic representation of the sequence of processes which constituent the development of a cell of a higher plant is given in this figure. It is also applicable to tissues and organs students. So this is the meristematic cell which keeps on dividing and this is the plasmatic growth. Under plasmatic growth it differentiates okay you can say that plant they follow different pathways in response to environment or phases of life to form different kind of structures which we call it as plasticity but before that just see that this is the meristematic cell under plasmatic growth it differentiates and because of the plasmatic growth, it expands or it elongates and because of the elongation, it matures to form a mature cell and then in uh, later progression of the cell, it dies off, which we call it as senescence. And if it is plasmatic growth, that means it will keep on dividing. So, meristematic cells are those which keeps on dividing under plasmatic growth and because it divides on and on so it differentiates also differentiates I, as i just told you that cells derive from the root apical and shoot apical meristem and cambium they differentiate and they mature to perform a specific function that leads to the maturation which we call it as differentiation okay and thus it leads to mature cells and thus ultimately it leads to death of the cell which we call it as senescence okay and this uh, pathway it is uh, applicable to the organ plant organs or plant tissue this is the sequence of the developmental process which takes place in the plant cell see this is the zygote which later develops into 16 cell embryo stage then to the heart stage uh, embryo and then to the torpedo stage and then it finally forms the cotyledons okay two cotyledons see this is the juvenile stage this is the adult stage where we can easily see the root apex and the shoot apex root apex uh, it has root uh, this is the zoom view of the root this is the root meristem which keeps on dividing and this is the root cap which prevents uh, root from damage okay and this is the reproductive stage this is the third stage uh, where it produces uh, reproductive organs so that fruit can be formed okay flower and fruit can be formed 
As I told you that plants they follow different pathway in response to environment or phases of life to perform uh, or form different kind of structures. This ability is called as plasticity. For example, heterophily in cotton, coriander, and larkspur. Okay, this is the heterophily. Hetero means different. Heterophily due to phases of life and heterophily due to environment. Heterophily in cotton, coriander and larkspur are the examples of plasticity. Plasticity is what? As I told you that plants they follow different pathway in response to environment or phases of life to form different kind of structures. In such plants, the leaves of the juvenile plant, juvenile means young plant, they are different in shapes from those in mature plants. Okay, see this is the juvenile plant which is uh, different in structure and this is the adult plant which is different in structure. And this is terrestrial habitat uh, plant and this is water habitat plant. As you can see that this is clearly uh, showing the heterophily that means plasticity. Plants they follow different pathway in response to environment or the phase of life to form different kind of structure. See, this uh, plant is uh, present on the terrestrial habitat. That's why it is like this. And this plant is uh, thriving on the water. That's why it is like this. So this is what this is plasticity. That means plant they follow different pathway in response to environment or phases of life to form different kind of structures. As you can see, the leaf of the juvenile plant, they are different in the shape uh, on the contrary to the adult plant or the mature plant. On the other hand, differences in the shape of the leaves produced in air and those produced in water in buttercup can also represent the heterophily development due to the environment. Okay, See, this is the buttercup heterophily which is uh, present in the terrestrial habitat and this buttercup is present in the water habitat. So, you can see the difference between the structures due to the change in environment. So, this phenomena of heterophily is an example of plasticity students. Okay, Thus, growth, differentiation and development, they are very closely related events in the life of a plant. Broadly, development is considered as the sum of growth and differentiation which I just taught you. Okay, Development in plants that is both growth and differentiation it is under the control of intrinsic and extrinsic factors. Let's see what it is. See these are the factors that controls the plant development. Development in plant that is both growth and differentiation it is under the control of intrinsic factors which we also call it as internal factors it is divided into two this former includes intracellular which we call it as genetic and intercellular which we call it as plant growth regulators these are the chemicals while later that includes uh, light, temperature, water, oxygen and nutrition. Okay, These are the extrinsic factors that plays a very important role in the development of a plant. So, you can say that the growth and differentiation and development they are very closely related events in the life of a plant. Broadly, development is considered as the sum or total of growth and a differentiation. So, development in plant is under the control of intrinsic factors which is divided into two intracellular and intercellular. Okay, Intracellular are the genetic ones which is not in the control of man and intercellular which we call it as plant growth regular. These are the chemicals which are in the hand of Man, that means man can alter the activity of plant by adding plant growth regulators. Okay, and second factor that controls the plant development is light, extrinsic factors such as light by quantity of light and intensity of light, we can alter the development of the plant and temperature. Optimum temperature should be there, water, oxygen and nutrition. 
So these are the two factors that plays a very crucial role in the development of plant body. Okay. So by now you are now aware that growth, differentiation and development, they are very closely related events in the life of a plant. Broadly, development is considered as the sum of growth and differentiation. Differentiation, I just taught you what it is. The cells derived from the root apical and shoot apical meristem and cambium, they differentiate and they mature to form a specific function. This act leads to the maturation and this we call it as differentiation. Okay, so it is clear to you now that these are the factors that control the plant development intracellular that is genetic intercellular that is chemical plant growth regulators light temperature water oxygen and nutrition so this was all about plant development in my next section of the video we will discuss about the plant growth regulators their characteristics and discovery of plant growth regulators so till then stay tuned and keep watching edipedia world videos thank you Drop a like and do share, leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos.